there it is. We've spotted some debris. It looks like several logs here might have come off the rock wall and we'll scoop that right into the debris net. We follow the contours of the bottom of the uh, bay and we use uh, GPS and a chart plotter to do that. You can see my track has been on a point where there's been 20 feet of water and 40 feet of water and the currents will move at a different speed thus creating a tide rift or tide line which is where the debris gathers. Even though I can't see the debris, I know where the tide rifts are. We pull out over 1,200 tons of debris every year. Some days we'll have 50 to 60 tons in one day. Some days we'll just have five tons. Some of the largest things we picked up is a 130 foot tree. Also, we picked up a, a concrete houseboat foundation right in the middle of the shipping lane. It, it was about 40 tons by itself, all concrete and floating. One year, there was reported about 12 dead whales in the bay, and I think we ended up moving or towing about uh, four of them. This pier log is typical of one of the piles they put into the bay throughout the expansion back in the 40s. It's soaked with creosote. The creosote is tremendously bad for the environment. And these are pretty good hazards to navigation. Some of them are 10, 15, 20 feet long. Some have metal spikes in them and it can rip into a fiberglass hull. We take it to our disposal yard. We cut it up so it fits in the right bins and we haul it to an appropriate landfill that takes care of hazardous waste. The whole boat has been upgraded with new engines. And this was the first Army Corps boat that runs 100% biodiesel. The crane is actually 64 years old, so we, we have found parts on eBay. When it's working, we don't fix it. <laughs> the San Francisco district has 22 federal ship channels that we maintain along a 600 mile coastline of central and northern California. This is a big bay. We try to cover during a week the whole entire bay. It's a recurring mission and it's something that we do year in and year out. For the most part at the end of the day we feel real good about the job we did.